I, unfortunately, I'm not one of these like new year new me people, I'm afraid. <sighs> what else has been going on? I don't think I can do that. Ah, what's that? Right, I'm gonna put this in position and I'll show you. Will I go and get some fish? Nope, probably not. Very short. fresh as ever <laughs> sometimes like in the new year I see all of these lovely thumbnails of um, videos that people are putting up if they're like fresh new year new me and they all look really like fresh faced makeup and then there's me and I'm like hiya <laughs> welcome to a new year I still look like this welcome to 2023 I have really missed you but it's been very full on. I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year. I did have a lovely Christmas and New Year, but what I will say is that this year felt absolutely crackers to me. It felt like there wasn't enough time in the schedule to have Christmas. That's the only way I can describe how this year felt for me. <coughs> because I, um, I, um, what was I gonna say? Can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, that's annoying. I don't know. I'm normally the biggest Christmas freak ever. Like absolutely adore Christmas, adore the lead up. And I think what I did perhaps wrong last year or last Christmas was, or what I've learned from, is where I was filming so many videos, I didn't take into account the editing process. So kind of like just scraped along because a lot of the free time that I could have used for doing fun festive things I was just editing and filming so it I, I like didn't work it out very well if that makes sense so lesson learned for next year but we're back 
I unfortunately I'm not one of these like new year new me people I'm afraid so if that is your kind of vibe this channel is probably not for you I think there is obscene amount of pressure on a year like the time period and the timestamp of one year and really I'm just all about continuing growing balancing evolving rather than wiping some sort of slate clean or whatever it is that they say i'm into vision boards i'm into writing your goals down i'm into manifestation i'm into all of those things but honey don't think just because it's july i'm not going to manifest a goal or think up a new one who says that january is when all of these things have to happen you know things can change any month of the year any time in your life and i just prefer to work in a way whereby that pressure is not there with that being said, obviously the show has meant that it's taken up a lot of my time, but my soul has not felt this alive for a very long time. So it's hopefully going to be worth it. It's crazy, right? Because I, from my point of view, I feel like I haven't stopped talking about this show on Instagram and on YouTube. I literally just had a DM from someone replying to a story like, oh, will these tickets be available to anybody? This is my favourite musical. And I'm thinking, love, I literally haven't stopped talking about it. Alas, some people don't know. So if you're new here, or if this is your first video that you've watched of mine, I am currently in a production of Rent the Musical. I'm playing Mimi Marquez, which is my dream role. And we will be performing at the Dolman Theatre in Newport, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 19th, 20th, 21st of Jan. So if you're watching this video today, very soon. Friday and Saturday tickets are nearly sold out. Like it's insane, so, so good. And um, there are still quite a few tickets left for Thursday night, but they're normal that's normally the night that it will go sort of a bit more closer to the time. So yeah, so that's really taken up a huge amount of my time. We did a lot of sort of day rehearsals last week because a lot of the cast members are either self-employed or school teachers the welsh holiday overlaps so we had like a whole three week after christmas where all of our diaries aligned and we just put in like three full rehearsal days which helped us massively then on sunday the day you're watching this video is band call which is one of my favorite days of like a whole production it's when you sing we go into the theater we do like a get in so all the set starts getting made we sing with the band for the first time, we rehearse, um, yeah, loads goes on. I am gonna be vlogging that as well for Wednesday's vlog, so you will see that as much as I can possibly film. Anyway, welcome back, it's lush to be back. Thank you for your lovely messages asking when I'm gonna be back, it's meant the world. But also it was a really nice break. Sometimes it, you don't, I didn't realize how much or how often I pick up the camera until I didn't. And it was just kind of nice to not have to think about trying to get nice content or aesthetically pleasing stuff and just sort of, um, yeah, it was, it was a bit, it was a nice break. Anyway, so I'm folding up all of the clean clothes. I'm going to get in the shower and then I've got a makeup ad to film for Beauty Pie. So then I'm going to get on and do that. Yeah, I finished my filming my content. I was doing the new Beauty Pie contour wands. They're actually really glorious. There's three shades. I, this is in no way part of the partnership, by the way. I just obviously just used them to film the ad and fell in love with them. I use the shade light, but they come in light, medium, deep, and they're like really good colors. So like, I'll show you the deep color. It is deep. The only thing I'll say, the sponge applicator is not my favorite, but that applies to any sponge applicator product like this for instance is a really old beauty pie highlighter and you can see how it just it explodes in the packaging so i'm not a mad fan of the sponge thing but it's what it is <sighs> what else has been going on i've had quite a lot of costume deliveries as well so i'm thinking we might go and try those on because i need to see if they fit so not ideal that i've ordered from boohoo because obviously it's fast fashion not sustainable etc but when it comes to buying costumes it's very hard because it's hard to buy for certain body types as it is let alone when you need specific things so although i have gone for 
Boohoo or Vinted is a, another place I've got a lot of bits from. It's, I've tried to like pick things that I will wear again. What? What are you doing? <laughs> the other very annoying thing about Boohoo was that it says things are in stock, put them in my basket, go to check out, oh, these items are out of stock. So that, that was annoying. So I've ordered three leather skirts to try because I need that for pretty much the whole of act two. But I thought if it's nice, then a leather skirt or a pleather skirt is something that I would wear again. But I'm not sure. Is it real leather? No, why? I said pleather. Pleather? Yeah, pleather is pl plastic leather. Option one. Well, you can say faux leather, yeah, but it's a bit posh for me. Then this is like a ruched style one. That's quite nice. That I would definitely wear again. And then this last one is... Oh, that must be the same skirt in a different size. Or the same skirt ordered twice. Doesn't seem like the sort of thing I'd do. That's in the smaller size, the first one. I'm a bit undecided on what to wear for out tonight at the moment, but she does wear this like silver metallic crop top. So I'm thinking this could work over the top of like my lacy net stuff, but that stuff hasn't arrived yet and neither has a few of my other bits. I would ideally like to actually go to a charity shop to finish off the last yeah, few yeah. bit. Bye! To finish off the last few bits, but... I don't know what time I've got really so we'll see anyway I'm going to try these skirts on I'm kind of torn as well because so in out tonight she wears these um turquoise like shiny leggings her belly's out and then like a silver top similar to that one and I was like I don't think I can I don't think I can do that I don't think I can sing on stage with my belly out. Which is like, fair enough, everyone has their line of confidence and boundaries or whatever. And that just is probably one of mine. Particularly the fact, like, this song is very full on and dancey, whatever. So I have instead got these incredible um, thigh-high turquoise pleather boots that I ordered from Vinted and then I'm thinking well again I'm in two minds whether to cover up the bottom of my stomach and feel really comfortable or do what I think is right and wear all skin tight because this is my body and that's what I believe in and that's what the character would do does that make sense so I'm just in a bit of a like do I push that boundary even more? But it is a very difficult song <laughs> to sing. So I'm like, do I wanna um, give myself more things to think about? Anyway, so first I'll try this ruched one first. This is a size 16, but I'm not gonna lie, it's bloody tiny. But boohoo sizes do come up small. So another day, another neighbor has seen me naked. Okay, this is quite cute, but I just need it to not move if I'm gonna. I quite like that though. I feel like again, I would wear that. I'm gonna put the 18 on first of this style because it's a bit more like bodycon. Might need a bigger size. Or maybe not, because that is a bit big. Can't decide which is more like her. Yeah, then annoyingly look, next size down and like sausage meat. Oh, I think I had it a bit far down. doing 
pushing out your comfort zone is long. To be fair, if I've got like fishnets and boots on, that's also very her. So if I am more comfortable in this, for like the majority, I'd probably rather just stick, stick to this one. It's just annoying, like this is a 16 and it is a little bit gapy there, but like, I'm not expecting it to be very well made. And then this top would go over like netting. Put it on top of this for now just to see. Boobitch. I like a robot. Those sleeves are horrible, aren't they? Like, why are they like that? I reckon I could get like, I could do something with those sleeves to make them pinched in so they're thinner. Cause that looks so much better than that, doesn't it? So this would be lace underneath or black underneath, fishnets, um, turquoise boots. Then I also got this, this play suit as another option. Don't really know what I'm trying to achieve here. So this is like a black play suit. Hold to know. <laughs> Ignore everything else that's going on. And then it's got like this little wrap skirt bit, which I liked the idea of. Because it's also very short. She is a stripper. So, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the fact I need my costume for Sunday and I've had eight weeks to sort it out, do you know what I mean? Very, very on brand for me. I think that wasn't as successful as I was planning to for it to be really, but a lot of my stuff's still not arrived, which is annoying. I need to see it all together, you know? So another little update. <laughs> Vinny sat on the sofa here. Come here. Hey, can mummy have a kiss? Can mummy have a kiss? <laughs> That's a big kiss. So another little update. I feel like this is how coming back to YouTube is gonna go. I'm gonna like remember things to tell you that the whole time I've not been vlogging, I've thought, um, oh, I need to tell YouTube that. And one of the things is that you may remember the original plan was for us to put the house on the market now and hopefully move by the end of this year. However, kind of anticipated this was gonna happen middle of like, towards the end of last year when everything happened with the government, but that now is looking like not impossible, but that it would just be a really ridiculous thing for us to do. The housing market has absolutely, well, this is just in the UK, but the housing market has absolutely plummeted. It's just horrendous. And we have a really good fixed rate mortgage deal. Um, the, this is the first year really for like full on travel to be prioritized for us, you know, without a wedding to think about. And also in terms of my work and in terms of like tax and stuff like that, it just makes sense for us to hold on for a little bit longer. We're perfectly happy in this house. You know, I love this house. The only issue is the traveling to London. However, I do feel like I've started to get the hang of things a little bit more now, especially knowing that I can go to London and back in a day. That's made such a massive difference. That is our plan at the moment. Things could change. They could change later on in the year. But as it plans, we've decided to just kind of travel loads this summer, spend lots of time doing the things we love without any pressure of like a wedding or anything like that or a house move. Kind of just having like a stress-free live your life year. That's our kind of plan. Anyway, this is a massive introduction to my new side table. You may remember I told you that my friend Shao, who's just come back from New Zealand, is an interior designer and she's helped helping me sort of like really finish off fine little details in this house so that especially for the time we have left here, we can really enjoy it and also make it as practical as possible. But one of the things she said was missing was a side table here where I'm sat. Oh! Oh no. Oh my god, I'm actually sweating. Then this is hard. Okay. Right. Right, 
I'm gonna put this in position and I'll show you. I like it though. This is it. It's like this groove detail. I don't know what colour you'd call this, like mahogany maybe? But it looks lovely. I just think I need something on there, whether it's a candle or a, a book or something. It needs to be styled in some way. Oh yeah, that looks so cute. Do I want to turn it around a bit? I love that. It's not right, but like it's something. Then he got loads of new toys for Christmas, everyone. And it's really made his life. Like he absolutely loves playing with them. Look. Show everyone Mr. Dino. Okay. Okay. But he has a toy basket and every single day without fail, he picks a new toy out to play with. It's actually so cute. Oh, more than one new toy. And the way he digs his head in. Can you cope? Frankie pretends to care, but he actually doesn't. So now I need to sort out this side table because this is, we've had this since... 2016 I think and it's just plain from Ikea but then we spray painted it and it just disastrous you can see it's like all chipped it's actually gross whoa <laughs> I was just about to say whoa how long has it been since car chats feels like forever do you know what I mean oh my neighbours oh oh <laughs> oh do you know what we've not spoken about my breakfast this morning was sensational. So you know I've told you that, or if you are new here, I'm about to tell you, I have this new thing where I'm really trying to use up everything in my fridge before I go food shopping. So I opened the fridge today and I was like, brilliant, all we've got is tomatoes. And then I thought, they do need using up to be fair, so maybe I'll just cook them and have tomatoes on toast. And then I thought, that's not very good protein so that probably won't be enough. And then I realized I had some halloumi in the fridge as well. So I basically cooked tomatoes down with beans in some chili oil, fresh parsley, halloumi on a piece of rye bread. Literally been full up since, I don't know, a very long time. Oh, I had a yogurt. I had a yogurt and two satsumas. That's all I've eaten today. I mean, granted it's not enough, but I don't feel ravenous. It's a good breakfast and very delicious. I do need to go food shopping because now all that's left is some like rotten veg, <laughs> not rotten, but like some veg that needs using today and some gnocchi. So I think for dinner, I'm gonna like roast the leftover peppers, onions, whatever it is that basically the absolute dregs of what needs using up. I'm gonna roast that. Oh my God, the traffic. Why have I left the house at this time? then that means I don't have to go food shopping today. Just thinking, I don't think I have had enough protein today and dinner won't be enough protein either. Need some sort of fish really. I just, I just can't be asked to go out. And I've stupidly come out in just a bloody long sleeve top, no jumper or anything. And I've got Crocs on with no socks. It's just not weather appropriate right now. It's literally been dark, it's been dark gray all day. Dark gray, rain, thunderstorms actually disgusting anyway i'm just on my way to mum's because i my hair is so long so ratty and so in desperate need of a car but mimi is ratty to a core so i'm keeping it all really long and ratty but i just want a bit more framing around the face because it all looks a bit blocky and because i'm having it curly i just want it to um sit a bit better it's got to look got to look scruffy as well so yeah anyway will i go and get some fish nope probably not this is my favorite hairdressers i've been coming here for 31 years this is not my favorite client i've been doing her hair for 31 years <laughs> isn't it so long mm -hmm. i think when the show's over i i'm gonna have like quite a lot off mm. what do you think what well, you're doing you grow it this long i know for 31 years, I know where your mole is. Well, you still comb it, so. Just get over yourself. Yeah, for what? Um, I'll, all I ever do is cut it and grow it out. And then you grow it out, yeah. So, do you want me to cut it from the middle? Yeah. It's easier like that, isn't it, I think? I think it might need a bit more light on. You think? Easier cutting it from yeah, the Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do that down there. You tell me how much, how short you want me to go from. Yeah. 
Was haben wir denn? Um, maybe just like an inch. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. No, it's all hanging. You know what you want. It's just because, you know, so I think it's that's probably that blocking. more than anything. Yeah. I'm just really taking all the boxes of the things that signify my vlog channel. Looking like shit. Car chats. Cupboard chats. General chat. Anyway, my Amazon parcels have arrived. Okay, so this is my nighty. I'm gonna have to go and try these on in a bit. So you know she wears like, well, if you know rent, she wears a nighty with like lip. <laughs> that, my friends, is a bonus thong. I can't even work out how that's meant to work. It's a bonus thong. And I would like to just show you the size of what is meant to cover a vagina. Anyway, this is the nighty. Oh, that's bloody perfect. If that will fit, I kind of want to try it on now, to be honest. I've got joggers on, so it's not going to work, but just to get the general gist. Very short. It's just not a vibe with joggers underneath, but I think it'll be all right. I don't know if I should have bought, should have got double XL. Oh look, I did buy it in another size. XL, what size is that then? What bloody size is that? This is, <coughs> that was a double extra large. I simply don't think it was. These, random, I saw these knickers on just, you know, like when it comes up as recommended on Amazon. I saw the shape of these knickers and I was like, they, my friend look like a bit of me. They actually look horrendous in real life. Oh, that's bloody lovely. This is a lace top. Oh, it looks tiny. Okay, so contents of the fridge. Noki, some fresh chili half a red onion some grapes that need to go in the bin a lot of cheese i still have a lot of cheese left over from christmas but yeah a green pepper i have some herbs at least herbs elevate everything two peppers another random quarter of an onion and another onion oh no that's soggy as hell she's she is gone for okay i've just grilled a grilled pepper onion two garlic things i know it's gonna be disgusting but i am tempted to just whack a tin of this in because i haven't had enough protein today or tuna tuna gnocchi would be all right wouldn't it do you know what not every day is michelin day um my blended vegetables looks like sick but i'm gonna quickly parboil the gnocchi, fry it off, mix it in with tuna in this sauce and it's probably going to be disgusting. It actually doesn't look too bad. Taste it first. Should we taste it? Why is it tuna? <laughs> yeah, I just needed protein. It's the only thing we had. You know there's something wrong with you when you're in bed by half six? By choice. I just, I wanted to have a shower and take my makeup off. Hello darling. Oh, that's lovely, even though you're not allowed on the bed anymore. Hey, do you do what you want anyway, is it? <clears throat> I wanted to have a shower and take my makeup off. And, oh, have I just zoomed in? Yeah, I yeah. have. And um, I've got to edit my beauty pie ad. So I thought, well, I might as well just get into my pyjamas, get into bed and do it here. So that's what I'm going to do. Me and David have started wearing blue light glasses as well because... One of his friends said about it, he's got that whoop thing that helps with your sleep. So we put these on at night to watch our program. Good morning, everybody. I didn't have a great sleep last night. I woke up like stark upright at three o'clock. Stark upright, stark, stark upright. Is that right? Is that the right words? tried to go back to sleep for ages didn't happen so then i just caved and went on my phone for a bit and then i eventually fell back asleep between five and half seven 
so not the end of the world but i do really enjoy a full night through do you know what i mean anyway i'm off to pt now happy thursday <laughs> morning my battery died halfway from my gym session which is bizarre because i changed my battery just before i went to the gym but anyway had a good session came home had a shower one sec just ordering some coughs well tell doctors there any allergies that we need to be aware of no thank you what can i get you please can i have a large black americano yeah and uh, the three cheese and ham egg bites. Anything else? That's it, thanks. Would you like any ketchup or brown sauce on the side of No, thank you. I think that's something that I see at the Thank you. Did I just order a large Americana? I can't remember if I did. This was my birthday present from David. How nice is it? You see? Um, yeah, had a good session. Came home, had a shower, finished off my editing for my beauty pie ad. And now I'm just on my way to my nail appointment. But I've actually decided to, sorry it's a bit loud, I've decided to go up to Bristol after, which I really don't want to do, but I need to go to Primark to try and find a cardigan for the show. I'm already in Bristol with my nails and I have to take a top back, a jumper back from Zara that mum bought me for Christmas I need to change on my birthday? I can't remember. So it just makes sense for me to do it up there and I thought because it's pissing down with rain today, it might actually be a good time to go because hopefully everyone will be like no thanks i've got my massive waterproof dog walking coat and i'm very much going for if you see me in the street mind your business chic hundred pounds easy Hi. Thank, you. thank you right i fully know that i've gone for the right choice because i fucking hate them they're so gross but my, i was torn between whether to get these or black and i've had black before and it's like one of my favorite colors to have like it's i think it's quite a chic color and i just thought this part ain't chic so if i hate them it'll help me to feel a bit more like grungy i don't know what the word is anyway i think i look like a little boy today because i've not done my brows and it's making me look a bit weird but i've just i've just had my nails done ofs um and i've got a meeting now with mac hopefully this is the last i think this is the last one now before next week um but we've got the master class on sunday so we're just sort of finishing off the last little arrangements and then i'm driving into bristol it's only 10 minutes from here so that's good because i'm desperate for a wee but yeah they're just disgusting aren't they these are the this the same color as my boots as well but they are so gross. <sighs> Bristol was just such a waste of time. I didn't get anything that I needed. And all I've eaten today is two of those egg bites from Starbucks, a black coffee. I've just come back and downed this water, or downed some water. This is another Christmas present, by the way. Water bottle from Frank Green. I bloody love it. Anyway, um, who's seen... The woman on TikTok eating tinned fish and chilli oil. I'm going to link her down below because if you haven't seen You're Living Under a Rock, I'm obsessed. I'm also obsessed with eating tinned fish and chilli oil. But also, such a great little snack, see? 40 grams of protein in that bowl of uh, red salmon. And then Chest bought me... Just bought me some chilli oil for my birthday. And it's delish. This is a Japanesey one, like it's got it's got like an Asian taste to it. And I so it's like a chili crunch. But I do want to get like a plain chili crunch, so like a non-Asian infused one, if that makes sense. Probably actually won't eat all of this, but anyway. I wish I was the girl off TikTok eating tin fish and chilli crunch, but it is delish. You know, I've said that this vlog has been um, all of my classic vlog things. I'm about to go and do a food shop. Simprove, a bit of tin salmon, 
and fresh chilies. We've come back from Waitrose and I've decided to get the dinner on because I want to eat ASAP. So David will run you through what we bought at Waitrose after he's eaten his pickle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Greek yogurt, pickled gherkin, let's go with the pickled onions. Loud and proud, please. Sasha's posh tuna. My latest addiction. Mm. Sardines for Sasha with chilli, sweet corn, apples, various varieties of tomatoes, three in fat. Uh, pink lady apples. You just said apples. Did I? Yeah. Well, I'm not got to on this, am I? Tomatoes Tomato puree. puree to go with the variety of tomatoes. Flat leaf parsley, decaf, coffee pot, onions, serene loaf. Deliciously Ella peanut butter oat bars. Well, she said. Ginger. Green cheese. Maybe like a bit of variety in your voice. Like. No chicken pot stock! Yeah. Yeah. Seafood sticks. Avocado. Avocado. Dried mango. You can carry on. Your ham. Easy peelers. Chicken and ham sandwiches. Your sandwiches. My sandwiches. I've Bananas. Got two lots for my own. Celery. Green beans. Sashes. Posh eggs. Salt and sugar. Popcorn. Ah, uh, wheat mix. Can't go together. That is the end. Make sure you tune in next time for what we got from the supermarket with David and Sasha. I'm basically cheating or making a cheat version of the Mellis chicken soup with fried off chicken breasts, shredded, veg, and this is actually my defrosted turkey stock from Christmas. Leftovers. But I'll leave the link below. It's one of my favourite soups. Actually, David loves it as well. It's very similar to my favourite Cypriot soup. I've got lemon -y, so I'll leave it below in case you might like it. It's delish. I actually forgot to show you because we were too hungry to eat it, but it was the best one I've ever made. I tweaked it slightly, but this is pretty much the same as what she says in her recipe. Absolutely delicious. Rate it out of 10. 10. Wow. I actually would have rated it a nine because I think it would have been better if we'd have had pre-cooked chicken. Shreds nicer. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how many nights does she wear the same pajamas for? And I'm going to answer you. The answer is two or three nights if I shower all of those nights. And I've gotten really gotten into an evening shower. I feel like it just... Hi, darling. And I'll do that. No, no. Vinny. Hello. Come here. You might also be thinking, why didn't she show us what she got from Primark? The answer is, they had nothing I needed apart from fishnet tights. That's all I got, a packet of fishnet tights. That soup was absolutely delicious. And David's just tidying the kitchen. And we're gonna finish watching um, Amanda and Alan Carr, The Italian Job. Oh my God, it is so good. So it's all about, they're obviously working with the Sicilian government to promote the scheme, but you may have heard that you can buy a property in Sicily for a euro. There's, I think there's quite a few countries that do it. So it's like the euro scheme where basically you buy an absolutely rotten, um, rundown property for a euro. And the aim of it is to build up sort of the economy basically because you have 12 months to submit a plan and then three years to complete the work to like do up these properties and then it obviously is driving money to those sort of like uh villages that have kind of fallen behind over the years say so that's like the most simplest way i can explain it and we have actually been thinking about doing it for um a year or so but it's just timing wise knowing that we want to move out of this house and stuff i don't know when we will do it but we de we definitely do want to do it at some point so it's been so lovely to see it from that point of view but also oh, alan Carr is so hysterical I, I can't believe that i kind of like forgot how funny he is and him and amanda together are just an absolute they're just brilliant they're so so good i love her as well i love her like i don't know her ballsiness and her confidence. Yeah, so we're gonna finish watching that tonight. 
anyway i have absolutely loved being back with you and the consistency is going to be back we're going to be back to two vlogs a week i hope you've had a good week and i will see you on wednesday <laughs>